this is about as handsome one. as he gets. Yeah. See it, and this yeah. is like I said, it's called a magnolia warbler. Is and this, real? it's real, yeah. And this is a boy. Yep. I'm Julie West and I'm a volunteer bird bander. I run a banding station here at the Nature Center at Shaker Lakes during spring and fall migration. You have to go through a lot of training in order to be able to do this. And you have to um, get a permit both from the federal government and from the state government to do it. We ban birds for a couple of reasons. One is for research, for scientific data, and the other is um, it's also a great educational tool. Uh, this is a Wilson's warbler. This is the first um, Wilson's that we've caught this spring. So. But it's not something you just, you know, decide you want to do and today and tomorrow you're doing it. It's, you know, it's a couple year process. Nice male. This is a nine digit number, kind of like our social security number. Um, and so all the data that we record for this bird gets put into a local, a regional, and a national database associated with this nine-digit number that will be unique to this bird. Zero fat. 124. She's probably not on eggs yet, but getting ready. She's probably laying eggs. Free at last. A number of people stop by just to see what we're catching. Good morning. I try to talk a little bit about migration, tell them what I'm doing, the importance of having scientific data, and hopefully instill in them a sense of the wonder of the natural world, birds in particular, but also the importance of green space like this so they can come on their long journeys. These little birds that weigh, you know, the smallest ones weigh maybe just a little more than a nickel that go a thousand plus miles twice a year to get a sense how important these areas are for them to stop here, be able to find food and shelter before they um, go forth for the next leg of their journey.